Hey guys, what is up? The new Cubist here. Welcome to my modern house tutorial. This is the building slash modern house we will be building today. Not really a building, but you guys get the point. This is built in the Flows 128 by 128 texture pack. You can download the texture pack on Planet Minecraft, link in the description below or on their website. So anyways, this will work on the Pocket Edition version of Minecraft, except for a few things you guys might have to alter, and the texture packs will not work on the Pocket Edition or Xbox version. Sorry guys, still looks great in the default, and it will work on the Xbox, and of course on the PC. Let's get started. So for the tutorial today, we will be using white wool, cobblestone slabs, stone stairs, black wool, lime wool, cobblestone, stone slabs, doors, and of course panes. So let's get started. Alright, so start out by taking your black wool and making sort of a crab-ish shape. I, I don't know why I'm calling it a crab shape, but go ahead and just build out somewhere along this. So this is 5 long by 5 long, and then build up sort of a... So you have a... I don't know what you'd call that, but just build it up equal length. So 5, 5, and 5. And so from here, we're going to connect these two. And we're going to grab our white wool, and we're going to do a little a bit of a wrap around here. So let's go ahead and just grab the white wool. And then let's just bring it down over here, a couple of blocks. So if you'd like to know the exact number, let's go ahead and count. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is 9 long coming down on both of ends. So let's bring over our black wool, but not all the way. Let's leave it so it has sort of a outwards texture. So let's go ahead and bring our black wool over here and connect it up. And so now you can see what we have going here. Let's take our cobblestone, take three pieces on the edge of that one that's sticking out. So let's go ahead and just give a little view of it right here. So now let's just go ahead and build up this wall. To um, The height is not very specific, but I'm going to build it up to past this. So now we can see that it is two past here. And so you're probably wondering what we will put in, by, um, in between these two right here. We will figure that out in a moment here. So I would go ahead and take your glass panes and just kind of connect them right here. On the sides of this cobblestone wall. Only up to about where it is visual. And so with your white wool, go ahead and place it right here. Just so you have it connected so that the glass can be set in. And let's go ahead and just do the same for right here. And so at the ceiling right here, let's go ahead and just place some stone slabs just to give it a closed off sort of feel so it isn't too open, but at the same time it is open enough for it to be an open style house. So let's go ahead and add our door there and let's do something a little bit fancier here. Let's go ahead and add the door and we will use a black lining around the door of course and set the stair upside down. If you guys can't set the stair upside down, just set it like that. It'll look perfectly fine. Trust me guys, I know this works on the Pocket Edition Xbox and on the PC, of course. So for the flooring, I will be using stone slabs. So let's go ahead and just start putting down these stone slabs. Let me just reinitiate a command here. Time set zero. Don't want it to become night or anything while I'm recording. So right here, we can just kind of build this up. And let's go ahead and place our panes down here. What a pain. Ha, ha, ha. I mean, that's not funny. Okay. And let's just bring our wool down here. Um, actually, no, let's not bring the wool down. Let's bring it down inside, so it is inside. Very modular. Well, modular in some way. So, let's expand this cobblestone wall out. One here on the side, and one here on the side. And so now it's starting to take shape. Let's bring over our white wool one. And let's bring the black wool back. I'm gonna say, um, five blocks. Build it up to over two, take your white wool, build it two, and just kind of wrap this around here. And let's bring this one higher than the other one. And let's go ahead and connect it. Uh, I want this to go one more, one more over, one more over, so that it can connect evenly. So let's go ahead and just connect it evenly. Or we, let's go ahead and just shorten it on this side, and shorten it on this side, that way it's not too fat. So it still is maintaining some slimness here. Let's go ahead and connect these, connect these, and then just bring these down. And that is your next step. So now that we have completed this, it's starting to really take shape now. So now in the center of this cobblestone right here, go ahead and place your black wool, connecting it to this block right here. 
Sorry if I'm going a bit fast. You guys can pause it if you need. Um, go ahead and give you a little view all around so far. Okay. So if you guys need a little bit more time, I can't really tell if you do. But if you do, just pause the video and I will be sure and, you know, let you guys pause it and watch. So you can watch a little bit slower for you guys who aren't the fastest builders out there. So go ahead and just do what I did there. Bring that down, bring that over, bring that over one. And of course, over here, go ahead and connect this, but not to this. So just bring this down. Keep in mind, you want to bring it down one in so that the white wool does stick out. The white wool is supposed to add a bit of flair, a bit of texture. And just go ahead and put your white wool on around. And again, this can be changed later on. That way, you can place your panes, and they won't look too funky. Now, right here, you're probably wondering, well, if I put them there, it's going to look weird. So you're right. Go ahead and place some cobblestone here and bring it up through the support so that it is up on par with those. And now, just place a little bit of panes. Isn't this such a pain? Whew, God, those jokes. All right. Uh, we, we do not need wool there, so just kind of stick that there and then just stick some stone slabs so you have sort of a... You know, because if it's open at the top here, it's of course going to look a little bit weird. So let's go ahead and add some panes here, too. And this one, you don't need to connect them up top. But now you have sort of a beautiful side modern house. And over here, it's very beautiful, too. So, like I said, um, textured. Texture is very important in modern houses. So let's go ahead and bring up this. Bring this up, too. Add the panes. And at the top here, we'll have sort of a skylight-ish design, so let's go ahead and grab a glass block and place the glass right here like shown, and on top of here just go ahead and place a little um, whatever you'd call it, a stone slab and then over here also place a stone slab so over here go ahead and grab your glass panes and build up one put this on top and build a glass over again so let's go ahead and do that, and then just add a stone slab right there. So now I would recommend just leaving this open, but adding a piece of black wool here to just kind of define it more. But at the same time, if you do not like that, I would just throw a glass block down and you get the same effect with that still, you know, sort of, sh not shading, it's not the right word, but let's go ahead and just add some glass here. So just place the panes like this. I will get to how these will be connected in a second here. So if you'd like, you can just do that with the wool. Or if you don't like that, you can just do the glass blocks like I'm going to do. So just put the glass blocks here. And as you can see from the outside, it, it's very nice. Looks very pretty. And it is just an awesome house. So let's go ahead and grab our black wool and place it over here. Place your glass blocks over here. And right here, we can just use some panes, because this will be the doorway. Actually, I wasn't thinking that properly. The doorway will be too wide, my bad. So right here and here. So I would just recommend placing the doors, doing the upside-down stair thingy. Actually, place them from the inside so it get, gives even more added depth, as you can see from over here. So even more added depth. And this will be the backyard area. And I would just use glass blocks, to be honest. It, you don't need anything else. So, if I'm not mistaken, that is pretty much the exterior of the build. Now, the interior of the build will come in another part. So, keep on the lookout for that, because I'm not too good with interiors, but I'll go ahead and design one, show it off, and show you guys how to do it. So, if you guys liked the video, go ahead and click that subscribe button, click that like button. It really helps me out when you show me feedback. I'd love it to see you guys... Like, I don't know. It's just awesome when I see you guys like, like my video. Like, it, it's so easy. You just click the little like button. You just like click and you're done. Or tap it on your phone. Like, ow, I cracked my finger. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. And uh, yeah, subscribe, leave a like if you like my content, all that stuff. Anyways, I will see you guys later. Goodbye.